Hey everyone, Nathan here from Elegant Themes. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the extra ratings and reviews features. First up, let's talk about Extra's rating system. So here's what the rating system looks like on the front end of the Extra theme. So anyone reading your blog can pull up a post and as a way of interacting with it, down at the bottom, they can choose anything from a half star to a five star rating and have that applied. I think we're all probably pretty familiar with this kind of functionality. So let's jump to the back end and talk about how you, the site admin, can manage it. So here in the post editor, you have the option of hiding a post rating. So let's say you, for whatever reason, didn't want to have a post rating visible. You could select that little checkbox under extra settings, update your post. And on the front end, ratings will not appear. The rating up here will not appear and the rating option at the bottom will not appear. So there are actually a couple other places within the extra theme where you have the option to turn the rating feature on or off. So one of those places is in the unique extra uh, blog post modules. So that's the blog feed masonry, blog feed standard, tab post, post carousel, uh, featured post slider, and the posts modules within the category builder. So in any of these you click on, you're gonna see this option somewhere on that settings page which is show rating, yes or no. Additionally, if you go to the theme options, which is under extra theme options, and you go to layout settings, you can choose to remove ratings site-wide by clicking on the ratings button here and clicking save, and that'll remove all ratings so that no one can see any of them site-wide. Okay, so that's extra's built-in rating system. Let's move on to extra's built-in review system. So we'll go ahead and use a movie review as our example. I've posted a short film to my blog and I want to offer my review of it to my readers. So as you can see here, I've already entered in what is probably the most basic form of a review possible with just one criteria and that's the overall rating that I gave it. So what if I want to do something more complex? Let's jump to the back end and take a look at what you can do with extras review features. So down here below the post content, there's a meta box called review box contents. So within the review box, I've given my review a title, speed dating short film, a summary, a girl goes on a quick date. And then down here, you see it says breakdown number zero. And I don't have a title here, but I did put in a rating and that's what you see on the front end right now. But let's say we want to add some more categories uh, to our rating. So I'm going to add a few things here. And then for the first one, I'm just going to put because uh, it is a movie, it's a short film, so I'll put uh, story, directing, acting, and let's do photography for this one because it is a stop motion animation of a live action model. So there's a lot of photography going on. And I think that was really impressive. So I'm going to go ahead and update this post and take a look at what happens to our review on the front end when I refresh the page. As you can see, uh, this top box right here cre automatically creates an average of all of the ratings that you gave it below by category. So I've got an 87 on my story, 75 on directing, 88 on acting and photography as a 90 equaling an 85% total score, which is also reflected in the review bar up here that's built into the, uh, the feature image section. And that is the extra built-in review system. So this video has been an overview of the extra themes, ratings, and reviews. To learn more about Elegant Themes, extra WordPress theme, click the view demo button. For more tutorials, click subscribe and never miss a great tip. Thanks for watching.